Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My child, there is no problem too big that I cannot solve for you. No, there is no mountain too tall that I cannot move. There is no storm too dark that I cannot calm. And there is no sorrow too deep that I cannot soothe. And there is no giant before you that I will not give you the strategy to overcome. Yes, I will carry the weight of the world for you upon my shoulders. So what are you waiting for, my child? I am here ready to take away your burdens, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light today. You may have been tagged as useless by others, but I will make you into an honoured vessel. I will silence every voice of accusation that have been raised against you and make your voice become an authority over your city. Yes, my child, you shall not grow tired of running the heavenly race that is before you. My child, you shall not be tired of living a holy and righteous life that is made possible by my grace. My child, you shall not be weary of bearing the burden of others that I may send your way. My child, you shall not be tired of praising and worshipping me, for my spirit will give you the strength always. For it is not by your might, it is not by your power, but it is by my spirit. My child, you shall not be tired of standing in the gap for others, the lost souls, as well as praying for yourself, because I will make a way for you. My child, you shall not be tired of proclaiming the good news that I only save, and I am the light of the world that will bring all out of darkness that listen to me. My child, you shall not be tired of condemning evil and sin, for I was sent to destroy the works of darkness. My child, you shall stand for truth at all times, for I am the way, the truth, and the life, and my spirit of truth leads you into all truth at all times. My child, you shall seek to honor my commands and obey always my promptings as I lead and guide you. My child, you shall not be tired of serving me diligently with all of your heart. My child, you shall love all men and not hate because perfect love casts out all fear and hatred. My child, you shall read and study my word daily with diligence that you may prosper in all your ways. For I am a covenant-keeping God that always meets my covenant promises. My child, you shall keep your lips from speaking evil and you shall bless and not curse. For there is life and death in your tongue, and you shall speak forth life to those around you and over yourself, my child. My child, you shall not corrupt the anointing upon your life, but you will protect it and spend more time in my presence to increase with oil as wise virgins do. My child, you shall contend for your faith in me and not deny me in adversities. For if you are ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of you before my Father in heaven. My child, you shall not grieve my Holy Spirit that lives within you, that you may grow spiritually and shall declare my goodness in the land of the living. My child, you shall be a soldier that always puts on your armor and weapons of warfare so that you can hold the shield of faith to withstand every fiery dart of the enemy. My child, you shall not crucify me a second time in your thoughts, words, or deeds, but you shall endure the very end by my grace so that you can reign with me eternally. Just know when I remove something from your life, it is because I have something better 
on the way. So wait unto me. That's right. Wait upon me, my child, and I will show myself strong on your behalf. Not just this day, but every day as you seek me early in the morning. Be at peace this day, my child. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says, according to Revelation chapter 1, from verses 5 onwards, it says, And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler over the kings of the earth, to him who loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood, and has made us kings and priests to his God and Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with clouds, and every eye will see him, even they who pierced him, and all the tribes of the earth will mourn because of him. Even so, amen, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I, John, both your brother and companion, in the tribulation and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was on the island that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard behind me a loud voice as of a trumpet saying, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, and what we see see what you see is write it in the book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia, to Ephesus, to Smyrna, to Pegmos, to Thyatira, to Sardis, to Philadelphia, and to Lexadacia. Then I turned to see the voice that spoke with me, and having turned, I saw seven golden lampstands, and in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the feet, and girded about the chest with a gold band. His head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. His feet were like fine brass, as it refined in the furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. He had in his right hand seven stars. Out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun shining in its strength. And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. But he laid his right hand on me, saying to me, Do not be afraid, for I am the first and the last. I am he who lives and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. For I have the keys of Hades and death. Hallelujah. The Bible also says, according to Psalm 25 verse 3, it says, Indeed, let no one who hopes in you will ever be put to a shame. Let those be ashamed who deal treacherously without cause. Hallelujah. Your future is filled with so much potential, but you also know that there is uncertainty in a future when we look with our eyes in the natural. So let us ask ourselves this question today. What is the source of our hope? Hallelujah. The Bible says, according to Hebrews 1, uh, sorry, 11 verse 1, it says, Faith is the substance of things hopeful, the evidence of things not seen. So what is the source of our hope? And through scripture, we have seen God in Jesus meeting our deepest needs. But this new day that is before us, we look once again to Jesus, the Savior, who has come and who now reigns in heaven until the day that he will come again. Words can only begin to describe the power and glory of the ascended Savior. He is the Lord of life. John describes Jesus as standing in long flowing robes. Long robes were worn by royalty or at times of celebration. 
They were a sign of victory, security, and work completed. A person fleeing danger or a worker could not be encumbered with a long robe, but Christ stands in a flowing long robe. There is no threat to his kingdom. His redemptive work is fully accomplished. Children of this victorious King have eternal security when we put our trust wholly in Him. As we enter this new day, may we all declare, my only comfort in life and in death is that I belong to my Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray today for each person that is listening today, those that are in need of direction. Lord, I pray that you would touch them in a world of uncertainty. We thank you, Lord, for the comfort, hope and peace that we have because we belong to you. Thank you for being our security and allowing us to share in your victory. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will work on our behalf. Lord, we thank you and we know that victory and breakthrough are possible when we relinquish control so we surrender everything to you. We pray that your Holy Spirit will direct us into the wonderful things that you have in store for us today in the name of Jesus. We pray that we remember today that nothing is impossible for us because we are in Christ and through him we can do all things and we know that when we channel this we can achieve imaginable breakthrough that is before us nothing is impossible heavenly father we come before you maybe even feeling overwhelmed by the vastness of the evil that is within this world it grows even darker and we need your light to shine ever brighter help us to stand firm holding our shield of faith high in order to extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Let your word go forth with truth and justice so that you would triumph over the evil in this world. Your power astounds and reasounds and we wait in anticipation for your victory. You have given us all authority when you went to the cross. In Jesus' mighty name, every stronghold in our life will be destroyed when we call upon you you, O Father, according to you, O Lord, victory over strongholds is ours today and we can rejoice in it today. No demon on earth will prosper for we are equipped and ready to charge into battle, clothed in your mighty armor and stepping out in faith for the battle is already won and the battle belongs to you. You are always by our side. Therefore, we cannot and we will not ever be defeated. Yes, if we do stumble and fall or lose our way, we can rest assured knowing that you will pick us up to comfort us and always there to bring us back and to hold your hands outstretched to receive us. Heavenly Father, I break every power of every strong man upon each person's life today in the name of Jesus Christ, because there is victory in the name of Jesus. I speak to every sickness today. I speak to every spirit of infirmity today. I command you right now, come out of their bodies right now and go back to the pit of hell today in the name of Jesus Christ. Every strong man that is holding them bound today in and within any spiritual demonic prison, I pray today the doors have been opened by the blood in the name of Jesus and you shall loosen your hold over them and release them from those prisons today in the name of Jesus Christ. Touch your people, fill them with your power, with your glory today. Release that fire of revival upon each hungry heart today as they want you, as they seek you, as in you and through you, we can do all things. We thank you for the finished work of the cross and we speak healing, wholeness and freedom to each person that is listening today. Touch them and fill them in the mighty power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today we believe in Jesus' mighty name. We pray and believe. 
Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrapath Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. So, um, you know, I just want to bless each person for those that are sending in their testimonies. God is doing, you know, incredible things within this hour. And we just thank the Lord for what he is doing and what he will do uh, in the future. So I would encourage you to get connected and also get others to be connected with us. From my family to yours, God bless you. We love you. We are praying for you. Shalom, shalom, shalom.